Years ago, when I first encountered the content extension or content pack for Sysmon, I fell in love with it. And I did several videos. And why it was so important at the time? Well, uh, the problem with Windows logs at the time is that they were not very verbose. I mean, you get process created. Okay, but uh, can you give me a hash of the process that was created? No. Can you tell me the, the directory was actually launched from? No. Can you tell me the parent process? No. Uh, so it was very limited in what it uh, could provide. And Sysmon changed all that. I mean, in fact, Sysmon went from not verbosity on the Windows logs to have too much verbosity and part of the complexity of installing Sysmon was to configure that XML file that limits the things that QReader is not going to do anything about it from the Sysmon. So it was very successful and a lot of people use it and help them detect when something bad happens in the kernel of the Windows machine. We know how vulnerable Windows systems are and, and you need to have visibility into that kernel. And that's what some EDR technologies try to do, and some of them are blocked by Microsoft. I, I don't know if it's a, a matter of security or monopoly, I don't know, but, but they, it's hard for anybody else to monitor the kernel. Sysmon, on the contrary, because it was written by Rosanovich when he joined Microsoft, the, it was part of the kernel, so it didn't have those limitations. So that's what we were so happy about Sysmon. However, if we see the last time that that package was updated was in 2020 and we have not seen any more updates on that. If we contrast that package with this other one, the endpoint content extension, we see that this one has was updated actually days ago. It's version 2.3.0 has a impressive amount of rules, 118 rules. You can see all the things that it can uh, detect and has some advantages over the traditional Sysmon package. And I can, I think I understand why IBM stopped uh, updating the other package and, and put the efforts into this one. Well, first of all, this content pad works with just Windows logs which has become far more verbose over the years, as well as logs, enhanced logs when you install the Sysmon agent in, in, in the workstation. So it works with both. And there are rules in, the, and I check this out, right? there are rules in this content pack that works with Sysmon uh, messages, and very many, I would say the vast majority of them, that work with just standard Windows logs. This was created by uh, the content team in IBM, which is led by Gladys Koskas, and she's a frequent blower. So you can actually check on on, on, on her blogs and see the, the things that the content team are, is actually creating. But I wanted to test this out. And what I did is I uh, collected a massive amount of logs from machines that were under this type of attacks, uh, not just for Windows, but also for Linux. And I forgot to mention that the advantage of this, another advantage of this package over the Sysmon one is the Sysmon one is Windows only. This one has Linux and even some Mac events as well. So it's, it's more comprehensive than, than, than the other one. So what I did is I took then the, vast amount of logs from Windows, from Linux. I didn't have anything from Mac. And I replay them after sanitizing those logs. I replay them in my demo system. And this is what I saw. All these rules actually fire as a consequence of replaying those logs. Pretty impressive, I would say. And this is a view for those who are not using the new UI. This is a more traditional view. Uh, this is the IP address of my uh, Linux box. These are Windows box. Uh, basically, all the other ones are Windows machines. And of course, uh, even though we only see one offense, you know that in one offense, there can be multiple rules that have contributed to the offense. If we take a look at this one and we display the rules, 
we see that in this single offense all these rules were playing along with it. So I, I think that the results are very impressive. However, I think there's a better view of see how effective this is. Let's go into the use case manager and click here on their, the miter section detected in time frame. What this is doing is it's going 24 hours back in time and putting a matrix, same, same matrix, the, the blue matrix that we have seen in, uh, in the use case manager but now in red and the red color indicates that a rule that was part of the system has actually fired in the last 24 hours. So they are, I guess, in the same way that the darker the blue, the more rules there are, same thing here with the uh, color red, right? So, and I think this is pretty impressive. Notice that almost the, I wouldn't say almost the entire, but a good portion of all the techniques in MITRE are actually cover and fire as a consequence of replaying those logs. So I think it is actually pretty impressive. So will I deploy Sysmon in today's age? Well, maybe if I have the time, because it's a little laborious, uh, I will do it. Probably I will do it for those machines that are, that are prime targets, the executives and, you know, all the key people that HR people that deals with a lot of attachment and stuff so uh, probably I will deploy I will still deploy Sysmon for those because again this package also works with the Sysmon logs but I think that now there's an easier way of just working with standard Windows logs and deploying that content extension package might be plenty good to being able to know when a Windows machine is actually being uh, compromise or on their attack.